Hey, shalom. Shalom, I want to give all praises to Yahawa, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Racha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Alright, um, this here is Amma um, 1 from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. And I'm coming back, you know, to do another lesson, you know. Sit down with my car here on, um, so, do the lesson in my car, you know. Basically, it's just a various topics. You know, no, no, I don't have no specific topic as of right now. But wherever the spirit lead me into, that will I bring out. You know, a, a, a good topic is always prophecy. And hey, this is to the brotherhood. You know, to the, to the men and them who in this truth. To the ones who believe in Yahweh Shai fervently. And not to know, not to know damn niggas. Because we're not, we not doing this work for niggas. You know, to hell with that, to hell with that nigga. To hell with that, to hell with that nigga, two to a nigga, I, yo. We're not doing this work for them. We're doing this work for you, I'm Shai. For our salvation, matter of fact. I'm going to read that precept. Yo, read that precept. First Peter, Second Peter, chapter one and verse verse ten. It says, "Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall." Right? This that is what we doing. We giving diligence to make our calling and our election sure. Not for no nigger. Hey, as the apostles say, and as they said, their teacher said, um, if a nigga can get it, we moving on. Yeah, and I, hey, and I, the spirit to be, and if you can't get it, we not go and try and break me back for you to get this wood. Right? We in the time at the end, we in the time when Yahawashah is about to return on this earth to, um, to bring the, the, the destruction we in that time we in the time when you have a basham you have a shy it's about to do damage to this place you know in the time when to debate and to go back and forth with, with, with all your outside here yeah. you know in that time you know because that was a lot of gainsayers and naysayers and scoffers who just like to open the mouth and speak without reasoning So if you don't want to re if you don't want to have no reasoning with you, we ain't gonna be doing looking to make sure you get this truth. This truth, you get we tell you once, you tell you twice, you ain't get, you go in, we moving on. Now is not a time for that. Now is not the time to to, to beg you to, to, to serve the Lord. The Lord ain't begging nobody to serve him. Lord was calling men, and if you don't want to be called, if you don't want to adhere to the calling of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, then we moving on. Okay? Scripture says to work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. That means your own, you, work out, meaning, have the faith in the Son of the Most High. Pray, fast, do the works, study. Be a brother. You within your own self work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Right? You can work out our next man's salvation. If you don't want to be saved, fuck him. You want to be saved. Because it have a time to come on this in this place where you ain't have no food in your mouth. Right? When you love to eat and drink, right? You ain't gonna have no food in your mouth. No food, no water, nothing like that. You ain't gonna have nothing like that. All you're gonna have is chaos and anarchy on this in this place. And I'll read this precept here. 
the first beat are 4 and 16. It says, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the most on his behalf. Meaning as a, as a believer, you have a shy, if you suffer, you know, that, don't be ashamed. But glorify the Lord. Just as Peter and the, the other apostles did when they, when they counted themselves worthy to suffer shame for the name of the Lord. In the book of Acts, the fourth chapter. The last set of verses. Now going on. It says, for the time is come. That judgment must begin at the house of the Mosai, which is the men and them in the shoot. Right? That time reach. That time reach. Judgment had it come to, 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 to men who slacken, who play in the fool, you know, who ain't doing no videos, who not even, they, they, they just day, they just want to come up. On the highways and the byways, you know, get the Lord 12, 12, 3 hours at a time, rest of the week, you know, to be who they had to be. If the name is, um, um, Bruce, to be Bruce for six days, one day to be whatever Hebrew name there is, right? To be Bruce, what well, the things that Bruce likes. For six days, if Bruce likes to go and do whatever he feels to do, Bruce does that. But seven day, this fucking um, whatever Hebrew name is, the Lord coming to judge you, right? Hey, and I, if if me, if I know on point, the Lord will put your hand on my ass too. That scripture will say, take out the beam out of your own eye. Then they would see the moat out that is in thy brother's eye. So we had to do what we what we preach, practice and what we preaching. But the most high scripture said the judgment must begin at the house of the most high. And if it first begin at us. If it first begin at us, just know I thought I saw something. And if it first begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Mosai? So the, the, the ones who was obeying the gospel of the Mosai, the judgment go and come to them. You'll be put to death, you know, suffer for your have a shy sake. But the ones who ain't believing in our shy, what the fuck did God? So that right there alone is proving that the Lord, the Lord does separate. To have, a, to have a separation between people then everybody go and be saved if it have the men and them who gain who believe going and get judged the unbelievers what the fuck what the lord go and do to them them don't believe him. them is just them is just friggin um infidelism so what what the lord go and do to them See now you coming back to save everybody as you Christians see. The believers going and get judged, but the, the but, but the most high just in love and in awe with everybody and the sinful ways. So I'm to the ones who don't believe. What the Lord gonna do to them? If we that what Peter the Apostle here said. If we as believers go and get judged, the unbelievers, what the fuck them go and get? Lord go and have a feel there on all your outside here. For all your unbelief in his son. For all your disobedience to him and his word. So all you don't want to believe his word, all you don't want to believe nothing that the most I say. All all you want to do is what all you feel to do. Do as thou wilt. Do as thou wilt are the come off of the face of the earth. Because that is not a, a just balance, that is a false balance. Verse 18 and says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, scarcely be saved the righteous, where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Where are they going to appear? They ain't going to appear in a chariot. 
We're going to appear in the lake of fire. Burn them with brimstone. We're going to appear in the death and destruction, the second death. And the, and the righteous, which is scarcely saved, going to appear in a chariot, a so called UFO, over the fire, looking down on the ones who being judged, who being judged, who being put to death at the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? Because all you think this thing is a joke and a game. This is not no game. This is not a game. It have a, it have a, it have a, a, a power that governing this earth that we living on, right? There is a God that governs this earth that we living in, and and he ain't just outside here to to watch you disrespect and be some unruly. Cruel beast on the earth, brute beast. The Lord go and make judgment on this earth, right? Because the so-called white man, yes, we had a mention he, the so-called white man Esau, bring this earth to earth, a place that have no morals or judgment. Nothing does happen to anybody that does wrong, and the Lord set up a standard for the earth that hey if a man do this that have a, that have a boundary that have a boundary so called white man have no boundaries right we live we life as men in coming into this truth by by a boundary they are not cross are not supposed to cross that line now sometimes they might cross the line and if you cross the line they get punished for it but the lines that we're not supposed to cross, we have a boundary. Like a homosexuality here, a man lying down with a man. That we, our boundary is the laws that are telling us no. That's wrong. The so called white man has no boundaries. He break, he crossed that boundary. He crossed the boundary on adultery. He crossed the boundary on transgenderism. He crossed the boundary on food. He crossed the boundary on um, bloodshed. He crossed the boundary on slavery. All of them things he crossed the boundary and that is why the Lord coming back to judge him. Right? Because you, you, you ain't had no bound, nothing in bounding him. Tell yourself he could do what he want and that is the mindset of these people outside here in the world. So like, they, to, they tell themselves that hey, they could do as they please now. Right? You, can't, you can't do as you please. And the Lord going to show you people out say here that you can't do as you please. You got to do what the Father said to do. We did as we pleased in the world. Right? We did as we pleased. If we get up and we feel to go to a party, we go to a party because it had no bound. Nothing was not bound in us. I the scripture where the apostles say I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. Right? Because when we find out these law, the laws, we kill that flesh. We, that flesh, that man that we was, that the dead. He so have no intention of killing the old man. He is the old man trying to bring him into the new man. The old man, meaning the new world order, it ain't going to change nothing. It's still going to be a sinning. A sinning capital. That old man in killing with the so-called white man. That old man is the same old man that you want to refresh now. Bring a new world order. Bring up a new system with the same old man. But we go and bring up a new system with a new a new man. Because the so-called white man he taught us just to be brute beasts. But Yahweh Hashem Yahushai teaching us to be Israelites and faithful sons of just men made perfect. And through us, Again with the apostles, we go in and rule this earth and make this earth perfect and inhabitable for human. This earth not inhabitable for humans right now. This earth is inhabitable for beasts. It's just beasts. This earth, the, the so called white man make this earth inhabitable for only beasts. Right? But we go and make the earth inhabitable for you hum, for the humans. Right? 
because this is not a place to live it's just pollution all over here all around here everything polluted noise chemicals in the air you know radiation everything is just free and they, they know for man to live man wasn't supposed to live you live in living on top of somebody you're living underneath somebody you know it's just a fucked up place that we live in and we need a, a, a way out of this kingdom of heaven um this kingdom of hell and we need the kingdom of heaven to come into play so we can find our way out and do what we need to do and serve our lord with one consent you know so yeah, uh, hopefully it was edified, right? And I will give all praises to Yahweh, Bashami, Shai, Bashama, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this year is Amma one saying Shalawam. Kalalal Yamlai, Yahweh, Bashami, Shai, Bashama, Kakodash.